Hello, my friend. It's so good to be with you again this week. Last week, we talked about the creation. Did you know the Bible has two stories about creation? It's as if God's people heard the first story, the story about God dividing the day and the night, the sea from the land, making all of the birds and the animals, calling it all good as if they heard that story and they said, what a wonderful story. Tell us another one. Maybe you've said that to your parents at some point. Today, I am going to tell you the second story about the creation. It's about how God created people to love one another and to care for one another. And it goes like this. God breathed the breath of life into the first person and called him Adam. God put Adam in a beautiful garden called Eden, where there was every kind of delicious fruit to eat. Adam could play all day long and eat whenever he was hungry. But Adam was lonely. God said, my child, it is not good to be alone. So God brought all the birds and animals to keep him company. But Adam said, I need a proper friend. Yes, you are quite right, God said, and put Adam into a deep sleep. When he awoke, Adam saw that God had made a woman. Wow, Adam said his jaw dropping in amazement. He had never seen anything, anyone, so beautiful and so wonderful. Her name was Eve, and she would be the mother of all people. Adam and Eve laughed together and loved each other and were happy in the Garden of Eden. And God smiled when God saw their joy and told them to have children so that love and happiness could spread over the whole earth. The end. So God made us to love each other and care for each other. And that's tricky right now because loving each other and caring for each other means keeping some space and not gathering in large groups because that way we make sure everyone stays healthy and everyone leads a full and happy and healthy life. But it's lonely sometimes because we have to stay with our families. We can't gather with our friends and hug them the way we used to. We can't play games in big groups the way we used to. And that can feel lonely. But you know what? You're never alone. We can connect via phone. We talk via FaceTime. We send one another cards. I am making you this video right now to say that I love you. Even though we can't be together in the same room in a big group, I still love you. I still am thinking about you and I am still praying for you. And so is your church, your community, your friends. We are all thinking about you and we all love you so very much. So remember, you're never alone. God is with you and so is your community. And our love for one another will get us through this time. Let us close with the prayer at the end of the story in big letters. You can read it along with me or have a grown-up read it along with me. Dear God, thank you for giving us each other to love. Amen. This story comes from the Children of God Storybook Bible by Archbishop Desmond Tutu. Illustrations for this story are by Beatriz Vidal from Argentina.